All right, title, what's up? I know my shirt matches the marker exactly. Uh, everything's just blending in. All right, Wednesday, December 7th, board brief, warm up, three sets. We got 12 different movements, specific warm up, three sets, 170 meter row or 200 meter row, respectively. And we're going to be working on three things. One, the position in the catch. The catch is at the beginning when we pull on the handle. Number two, positioning of returning the hands before we bend at the knees. And three, pushing our heels down into the rower, allowing us to use our posterior chain instead of our quads. Okay, so three things to look over. I know one of them I always put out there is making sure that we return our hands before we bend at the knee. All right, so that one's gonna be in there repeatedly over and over and over again all the time because that's how you're supposed to row. All right, hamster wheels the workout. Every three minutes for six, set, for six sets, 400 or 500 meter row respectively. Um, yeah, that's the workout. Level two, 200 meters or 250 meter row every three minutes for six sets. We'll come back to this. RX and level two are the same. Post-workout, every two minutes for four sets, one to five muscle-ups in the rings, all right? Um, on the fourth set, you're gonna do a max effort um, ring muscle-ups or scaling options. So the scaling options are gonna be as followed. Chest-to-bar pull-ups, regular pull-ups, banded pull-ups without kipping, okay? Um, if we need a thicker band, again, like last week, let's grab one. Uh, we should be struggling to get five reps. Okay, don't go on a band and knock out 10 reps because that's not what we're looking for. We're looking max five reps. Okay, and then on the last set, you're just going to try to give it all you got. All right, after that, or sorry, for open gym, there's some skill work. Four sets, 20 seated leg raises. If you want to challenge yourself a little more, grab a dumbbell to get those seated leg raises over. Uh, 10 banded walks one way, 10 banded walks the other, okay? Core glute work. Back to the workout. All right, this is an opportunity after the last couple days. Uh, I know yesterday with the front squats and burpees, we're going all out to the pain cave, ride the pain train, get on it and try to just suffer a little bit and get through it. Uh, day before was a longer workout with some weights in it and some skill movement. This, this one here is single movement, we're gonna row, okay? If there's not a rower available, we're gonna bike. If there's not a bike available, we're gonna ski arc. The trick here is, or not the trick, the thing we wanna look for is consistency through all six sets. Were they even saying dropping a little time over every time you do a set, all right? We don't want to come out our first one and be, okay, a 130, 500 meter row, and then two minutes, 205, 215, that's actually going backwards. We want to go the other way. We want to go a little bit faster. And when I say a little bit faster, we're talking point seconds. We're not talking like, um, I went uh, one or 205 for the first one. I'm going to go a 130 for my second one. No, like seconds, even points of seconds, right? Negative splits. The reason why we're asking to do this is we want to work on our cardiovascular endurance, right? Yesterday was a flat out sprint and see what you could handle mentally and physically. This one's a little bit different. We're going to try to exercise our heart a little bit and try to maintain a nice steady row throughout. Uh, all six sets. That doesn't mean it's easy, right? So when you come out for your first row, set a pace that you can handle and, and do it. And then by the th third set, I bet you that same row turns very difficult, okay? Now, things specifically we're looking for, specific warm up, good technique work. The other thing is timing of the row. The first three sets, we should be on that rower for no more than two minutes and 15 seconds. If we're on the rower long of that, we should be scaling the amount of meters back a little bit. So you can get off that rower at 215. For the last three sets, I would say you can push it to the 230 mark, but no longer, all right? More realistically, we wanna be in the two to 210 mark, 
215, um, just getting a little long in the tooth, but was work if you can keep that pace up for over those six sets, great. That's what we're looking for. All right. So come out of the gate however you want. Just try to maintain that speed all the way through. Okay, because some of us are um, smash on the rower and that's great. Some of us aren't so great on the rower and that's fine too. Find your pace, try to hold on to it all six rounds. Have some fun with it. Uh, see what you can come up with and we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Enjoy.